I'm making this video because many of you have written to me about troubles that you've had in your life and struggles that you've had. So I put this video together uh, based on a book I recently read uh, by Dale Carnegie, How to Stop Worrying uh, and Be Happy in Life. So I'm going to go through this rather quickly. I hope you enjoy it and share it and please subscribe to our channel. How to have a happier life. You can change your mind. You truly can change your mind. Worrying does not take trouble off tomorrow, but it takes away the strength of today. Because you're dealing in tomorrow, because today's the only day you have. In the Bible it says, thank you Lord for our daily bread. Not yesterday's bread, not bread in the future, our daily bread. So don't live in the past and don't live in the future, live in the moment. And stop worrying about what you can't control. You have to accept that in life, tragedy happens. I recently uh, had a small tragedy. I broke a figurine that I've had for many, many years that I treasured. I had to accept it, that it was gone, and I had to move on. I had to stop worrying about what I can't control. It's done. Other things in your life have happened. Once they happen, you can't control it anymore. Let it go. Learn to live in the moment. Stop worrying about the future and stressing about the past. Again, you only have today. Thank you, Lord, for our daily bread. Not the bread from yesterday or the bread in the future, our daily bread. Stop worrying about what you deserve or don't deserve and enjoy what you have. Stop worrying about what others have or don't have and enjoy who they are. Stop worrying about who loves and who just love. Stop worrying and start living. You know, these are very important things. Stop worrying, stop worrying, stop worrying, because it doesn't get you anywhere. Sometimes you have to stop wondering, wondering, and doubting. Have faith that things will work out. Maybe not how you plan, but just how it's meant to be. Profound. Not the way you plan just how it's meant to be. Sometimes things don't work out because greater things are in the works. How many times did this happen in your life? This didn't work out. Something better came along. That didn't work out. Something better came along. Sometimes the hand of faith is in there for your benefit because 99% of things you worry about never happen. The law of averages say that all of us are going to have troubles. But again, the law of averages said most of us have good lives and don't have problems. There is only one way to happiness to stop worrying about things which are beyond your power. The Greeks, hundreds of years ago, said that. There's only one way to happiness to stop worrying about things which are beyond your power. Let it go. There are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. Think about that. There are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. The past is done. You can't rebuild it. You can't recreate it. It's done. Same goes for the future. You don't know what's coming. It could be far better than where you are today or where you were in the past. Stop worrying about tomorrow. Stop, think, stop thinking about yesterday. Mindfulness is to be here now, in the moment. Focus on this moment. You're good today, forget about tomorrow, forget about the future. Dale Carnegie, in his famous book, How to Stop Worrying, wrote, one, first ask yourself, what is the worst that can happen? Two, then prepare to accept it. Three, then proceed to improve on the worst. You know, what is the worst that can happen? You know, you lost your job, so you're broke, so you go on unemployment, so something else happens, something else happens, and somehow you end up better off than you were before. But you accept the situation and then deal with it. And then once you accept it, you can go forward. But if you're, you're caught in the worrying, in the, in the, in the remorse mode, you, you're not thinking clearly and you're not dealing with the situation. Here are Dale Carnegie's 10 secrets, keys to success. One, take a chance 
All life is a chance. Two, be enthusiastic. If you want to be enthusiastic, act enthusiastic. Three, learn, learn to love your work. Do what you love, love what you do. Four, learn from your mistakes. Develop success from failures. Failure is a great learning tool. Five, do not fear fear. Inaction breeds fear and doubt. Don't be immobilized with your fear. Don't let, don't wallow. You know, sometimes we all go into blue moods, black moods, whatever you want to call it. But understand that a little depression is part of life and you'll get over it. But try to remember, every day stands alone from the past and the future. You only have today. Not yesterday, not the future, today. So if you're good today, don't worry about tomorrow. Six, learn to prioritize. Make good use of your time. Seven, do the hard jobs first. The easy jobs will take care of themselves. It's like uh, when you were a kid and you had to do homework and you wanted to play. Well, it was easier to do your homework, get it out of the way, so you don't have the stress of being out playing with coming back in and doing the homework later. So do the hard jobs first. Eight, persistence is the quality that most frequently leads to success. You know, you fail, you get up. It's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get up. If you get knocked down nine times and get up ten, you're a champion. We determine our happiness. It's governed by our mind. That's what I wrote in the beginning of this. We determine our happiness. It's governed by our mind. Ten, remember that everything you do sends a message. Determine the message you want to the world. You want to send to the world is that you are in control of your life. I had a conversation recently with someone about anger. When you express anger at someone, it's not what you're doing to them. It's what you're doing that's expressing your inability to handle the situation. So when you wallow in despair and wallow about tomorrow and get live in a dark place, you're not controlling the situation. You have to think clearly in order to handle the situation. And the best way to do that is to accept what is and start doing something about it. I hope this video will help you deal with the dark periods that come along, the despair that we all go through every once in a blue moon and accept that it's all part of life. Please subscribe, like, and share. Like us on Facebook. Uh, put the bell on the YouTube channel to be notified when we put up new videos. Please let us know what you think of these videos. And please share, subscribe, and like. See you on the next video. Happy trails to you. Bye-bye.